Hello and welcome to the Coaching Players online video tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start drawing a play. Let's start by selecting a line color. Let's mouse over to the line color selections, pick the color we want, and left click. Let's start with blue. Next, let's pick the endpoint of line. Let's select a solid arrow and left click. As you can see, when you pick a tool and you left click, it moves to the top of the tool tray. Also, when you mouse over any tool button, it will tell you in the middle of the screen what that tool is used for. Now let's pick the type of line we'd like to draw. Curved line or a straight line. Let's pick a straight line. Left click. Now let's start drawing. To draw, simply mouse underneath the player, activate the player so you see a blue circle underneath his feet, left click, hold down your mouse, and draw a line. When you lift up on the mouse, it will allow you to change directions in the line. As you can see, there's a blue circle at the end point of the line. You want to activate the end of the line when you change direction. Activate a player, hold down on your mouse, lift up on your mouse to change directions. Activate a player, push down on your mouse, hold it down while you're drawing, lift up, push back down again to change directions. It's that simple. It's all point and click. Hold down, lift up, hold down, change directions. You can draw that fast. Now to make adjustments to your routes, let's say if we want to change the splits, go down to the hand tool, which tells you it's a move player tool, left click, it moves up here telling you that you're using that tool, activate a player, left click, and move him. Left click and move the player. You can make adjustments that quick. Now if you need to erase a line and make a, a bigger change, you can come down here to the eraser tool. Left click, it moves up to the top of the tool tray telling you you've activated that tool. Now to erase a line, simply mouse over the line. As you can see it changed colors to gray left click and it's gone. Left click and it's gone. To redraw a line, let's say in a different color, go over the color you'd like, left click, pick the line segment you'd like, let's stick with a solid arrow, and the type of line you'd like to draw. Let's go with a straight line again. Again you can see what you've selected at the top of your tool tray. Now simply draw the lines that you'd like back in the, the play. It's that easy. Now to erase your entire board, leaving just the players, go to the right side menu to the Erase All button. Left click and it will take all the lines off. Let's roll in using the roller of our mouse wheel by rolling it forward and let's move in on the offensive line. And let's look at a blocking scheme. Let's left click the black color, let's left click the blocking endpoint, and let's use a curved line this time. Activate a player, left click, and draw your blocking assignments. The key here is making sure you activate a player before you draw, because you can draw on the field without it being attached to a player. This is important for playback, simulations, and animation. If you don't attach the line to the player, when you play the playback, the line's going to stay on the field. So you want to make sure you activate a player before you draw the line. If you make a mistake, again, you can always use the eraser tool with a left click to get rid of it. Okay, let's erase all these lines again with a left click and let's free up our camera with the right click of a mouse. This allows the camera to pan 360 degrees. Let's get to a defensive angle and let's freeze the camera with another right click. Let's pick red with the left click. Let's pick an arrow tool with a left click let's pick a straight line with a left click. It's 
It's that quick to draw. Again, a right click frees up our camera. Another right click locks it in position. I can move in and out with my mouse wheel and I can move in and out with my zoom out and my zoom in tool. Alright, now let's look at changing field location. In the right side menu you've got a move ball button. Let's left click that and select where we'd like the offensive play to be dr drawn from. Let's go the left hash at the 10 yard line. As you can see everyone moved directly up to that new position. Let's show that again. Let's pick the move ball tool with the left click and let's pick the 20 yard line in the middle of the field. Another left click moves the ball there. Okay, Last I want to show you a few of the, the different line segments and the pre-snap motion tool. You already know how to pick a color. Now let's look at what the different lines look like. This is a dash line. Again I'm going to left click, hold down my mouse when I draw. This is a dash line with an arrow point. I'm going to left click and hold down my mouse when I draw. Pre-snap motion is activated with the left click. Again it moves up to the top of the tool tray. I activate a player, left click and hold it down and it's going to show a pre-snap motion. To add a line segment to the end of the motion, simply go to the end of the line and you can see the little blue circles telling you you've activated that area and you're ready to draw. Let's pick a solid arrow with a left click and let's pick a straight line. Let's activate the end of the motion, left click and draw my line. Lift up, left click, continue. Lift up, left click, continue. It's that easy.